Hello, and welcome. So, on my last video I received a lot of comments, commenting that either, well I've received a lot of these in the past, that either I don't know how to use Saren, or that Saren does a lot of damage, and that I just don't get it, and that viral procs are really good. So today we're going to do some math, and I hope that's alright with you. So, let's take a walk over here to what I've done to this Saren. So, as you can see down here, Saren gets all of her damage from duration and strength. Because the longer her four goes on, the more damage it will do. And of course, power strength increases the damage that it does. Obviously, it increases the damage of all of her powers. Obviously. Uh, I've tanked efficiency. This build does not fucking work. It won't work, ever in actual gameplay, but for the purposes of giving Saren a huge leg up against who I'm going to test her against, I've decided to give her 284% power strength and over 200% duration, just to show. And then a reasonable amount of range, because if we go lower than this range, then this is just a moot fucking point at that. So let's go over here to abilities and see what we can cook up. 994 damage per second over 7.1 seconds. That's the basis for this ability. Okay. Uh, and then, with that, molt. And the lower molt's health is whenever it explodes after it has spores on it and such. Uh, will increase the damage even further. Viral procs and um, toxin procs being present on the enemy at the same time. Will increase the damage by four times. So... Saying all that, that must mean that there's some kind of in intense damage here. Or there should be. So, I've got the Tysis because I need to inflict toxin procs at a reasonable rate. Uh, and Saren cannot survive in melee, especially with this build. Uh, and especially not in later, later levels. It's just not going to happen. So, we're, we're here to test today to show, and we're going to do a lot of math. So let's get started. So, as you've previously seen in my uh, Corpus Tech versus uh, Heavy Gunner video, it's how much um, effective health a level 80 Heavy Gunner has. So we've been over this, and that's what we're going to be testing on. Not only are we going to be testing on that enemy, we're going to be testing on it and it, Saren has damage that is good against that enemy. So she's getting an even bigger boost on that enemy of another 75% extra damage on top of what she would already be doing. So this is going to be trivial for her, right? I imagine it should be completely trivial if it's the enemy that is weak against the thing that she does. So let's get started. We're going to need a lot of energy for this, for obvious reasons. 50% energy efficiency makes it pretty hard to do this more than one time. So let's go... Nope, no, no. Regular Grenier. Scroll all the way down here. Oh, no, no, no. Stop going up. Go down. There we go. Let's do one level 80 heavy gunner. And I'm going to make sure that it has a viral proc, a toxin proc. I cast molt. I put my spores on my molt. And I hit four after my molt has been damaged a little bit. Because obviously the ideal situation for molt is not going to happen of it having 99% of its health removed. So, let's get started. Just one. Should it be fine. So it has a toxic proc. Obviously we can put its one on it. It's been viral proc. This is here. This is here. Oh, all its health came back and I'm dead. Why didn't it instantly evaporate that enemy? It should instantly kill this enemy, right? Like, this enemy should be vaporized after I do all of that and spend all that energy to do such a thing, right? Well, let's, let's, do, let's do this two more times, just to reiterate on it and make sure everything went according to plan. Come on, move in. I have to hide behind this because I can't take any shots from you.
Okay, Toxin is on. Okay, that's pretty much the full extent of what I'm able to do here. Ah! Anything? Oh, and all the health came back because Viral ran off. So... That accomplished nothing. At this much power strength, that accomplished nothing. And then Viral ran off, so I accomplished a double nothing. At level 80. Which is not even, like, a particularly high level, if we're to be completely honest. And I expended an obscene amount of energy, and I'm over 200% in both of my stats that change my damage. So... This frame does damage again? Huh. That's weird. Let's do some calculations. Those should be on screen right now. So you can check those out while I change into something more damaging. All right, so this is my Excal. This is my regular Excal. I have not done anything to max him out in any damaging respect. I have 145% strength, pretty regular, just super normal stuff. I've got my defensive mods. I'm pretty hard to kill. And uh, just everything's pretty normal here. I've got good efficiency, nice range even. Not really maxing anything out in particular in terms of doing a lot of DPS. No big deal, regular build. My Nakana that I'm using is this. This is what I regularly use whenever I use a weapon for my uh, Exalted Blade. So no craziness here. So let's test this and then do some math. Grab some energy, pop Exalted. Summon one, simulate. Oh, no, 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 that was a finisher. Come on, we can't count that. That's a can opener ability. Of course, that was going to instantly kill them, because it opens up enemies that are hugely defensive like that. That's a one-hit kill, kind of, no matter what. So let's not take that into account. Got too close. Did too much damage too fast. So let's do this one more time. Huh. Weird. It's almost like this is a fuckload of damage. It's almost like this is what damage actually looks like whenever you're really doing damage. Also, before anyone tries to tell me that it's like in a limited range, this is what Exalted Blade looks like. This is non-Berserker Exalted Blade. I can throw these everywhere that needs to die. This DPS goes down a fucking 40 meter wave. So there's plenty of AoE to this ability. And then Excal has all these other things going for him, like the ability to boost his damage and crowd control. And have his one for closing gaps and getting close to enemies. Among other things. So, so let's do the math for what I just did with Exalted Blade. That should be on screen right now. Can we stop having this argument where people keep trying to tell me that Saren does damage and then I know that that is incorrect? Because if you can show me a build on this Warframe that is effective and can do more damage faster, I'd really fucking like to see it. It'd be real nice for me to get some hard evidence on something that isn't a test that looks like this. Just go to Infested and let's just spawn a bunch of fucking chargers. Because these, these are nothing. These enemies are nothing. They pose no threat to me. Infested are super weak. I could dance around these enemies all fucking day, and they'll never matter. These enemies mean nothing. You have to test against an actual dangerous opponent, like a level 80 fucking heavy gunner. And the level 80 heavy gunner isn't even the top end of dangerous fucking enemies that we have in this game. So please, 
Argue with me. Tell me why Saren is good. Is there some secret that I don't know about? Because Viral's not good. Viral is not like some crux of this Warframe that you should be bringing her for. There are plenty of ways to inflict Viral. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.